Hello everyone, I'm the Soloist, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 3 with Kingsley. Hey. I don't know why I made you sound like a fancy, Like a posh gentleman. Yeah. But right. I'm very much not. Let's um, go, Tyro. Will we also oh, find I Carlos? I hope the door opens and he just gets... Okay. <laughs> I was like, there's just the... What's that thing called? Um, nemesis tentacle to the face. Damn. Why can't I run? Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right. Let's get this done. <laughs> I walked right into the door. <laughs> Good job. Oh no, I was joking. Look at that big, oh no, he did get tentacled. Damn. Bro, I was just joking about that straight up. Well. Joking, manifesting, you know. Bro, I accidentally used my powers of omniscience again. <laughs> Final destination? Mm -hmm. Sure, hope not. I need you to know that the only reason I knew that he was about to get got before it popped up on the screen was because the whole controller vibrated, and I said, what's a rumbling? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. what's, what's rumbling? Haptics are weird. Haptics? Yeah, like when the controller buzzes. Oh, is that called haptic feedback? Pretty sure. Yes, you're correct. It is. See, it's weird, but I personally think it's weirder depending on like how it's done, right? Yeah. Now, there's there's the kind where it just buzzes, you know? Yeah. It just buzzes endlessly. I don't like the look of this room. Um but like in the new new systems, like on on the new uh the PS5 controller, mm -hmm. they've done it so that like it's very specific and it's very weird because of it. So like it might rumble on the right side because there's stuff happening on the right side or like on the left or like depending like uh I tested out Spider-Man Miles Morales with the controller. Mm -hmm. And I kid you not, it opens with Miles on a train and then he gets off the train and the rumbling through the controller, it passed from left to right as though I was on the train. And I said, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> mm. Essay on vaccine synthesis. Sy synthesis, I know to read. On the roles of antigens and, and juvens in vaccine synthesis, Dr. Nathaniel Barr, chief researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. <laughs> to most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one creates a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than a thousand times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Mm. Is this a space I can walk into? Oh, okay, it is. Bro, there's no way all these dudes are just dead dead. They're gonna get up. <laughs> What's this? Override key successfully generated. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Flash drive. Override key removed. Why did it say it like that? Oh, wait. 
Backseat Ooh. equipment was right here, in this room. Is this where they're curing COVID? Oh my god. Sorry, I have to make one. Someone's gonna show up in your comments and be like, nah, nah, nah. You think I get comments? I think the last comment, no, you know what? That's not true. I was about to say, I think the last comment was a year ago, but I did one a couple, did get one a couple months ago, but I know exactly who it was from because they walked up to me afterwards and were like, hey, I commented on your video. Great. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. Place the materials in the chamber. I do not have the materials for the vaccine. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? No, Jill. Leave her alone. She's trying. Oh, there is nothing on that little spot right there? Okay. Just the override key and my will to live. Damn. Alright, I'll get made fun of if I don't go into the creepy hallway, so like, let's just get it over with. If it's me, you get made fun of either way. That's true. So, you know. I was like, how are you still moving, dog? No, no, stay down. She was the first one to actually be a zombie, and I think that's hilarious. <laughs> She's just built different, you know? She's just built different. Yeah. Mmm. Last door is in a box at the end. I'd put seven dollars mm. down. This is a hunter breaks through them. Oh no, just a regular zombie? Just seven dollars. You think I have money? That's fair. <laughs> just all gunpowder. Oh, this is a note. Isaac Graves' diary. Who is Isaac Graves? But what a name. The pay was generous. The benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to a state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family. We agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020. Because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. What the hell is a beta? I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told. For their sake. But let's be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. What is a beta? What is a beta? What is a beta? I'm fearful. So I guess you'll find out. I sure hope I don't. Well, it foreshadowing says that you probably will. Hmm, Misa don't like foreshadowing. Not Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I picked up some gunpowder. I picked up some gunpowder. <laughs> so I'll just turn it into more shotgun shells. Bro, I That's butchered fair. that sentence so hard. You did. All right, so now. Uh, my back really hurts. My neck, my back. I'm sorry. Okay. This is the other open door. Oh, and it's a... Okay. <laughs> well then, ironically, should have run in here first. Nest to employee regulations. Attention nest to employees. The objective of this T-virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created oh, and back. introduced. Such as what? <laughs> I 
why if I went out for and so it like disconnected me. Yeah, I can I tell went... you still sound like a robot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't even read that whole thing. Oh, it gave me a map. I was so distracted by whatever just happened on your end that I just gave up on <laughs> reading that. Damn. So much gunpowder. Oh wait, there was a, a I said a leaf. <laughs> there was a, a herb. <laughs> there was a leaf. <laughs> there was a leaf. Okay. That's everything in this room? Sure is. All right, I grabbed the thingamabobber. So I guess I can mm. override doors like this now. Thingamabobber. Oh you no, know. you're just you're just a robot. You're just a robot. No. That's great. Uh, how is that English? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? That was me not expecting a zombie just immediately. Mm. Nice. Get off me! Do you understand how pretty I am? I'm not supposed to be touched like this. Damn. Where what? Where did he go? Man moved with speed and grace all the way back into that room. Honestly, good on him, I guess. You really said digital yawn for me, please. Then I guess I did. I guess I'll, I'll make some more bullets real quick. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> That'd be a smart option. Eh? I guess. Take out, take out. Since I've, oh, I didn't mean to close it. Nice job. Thanks. Burp while I said that. My inability to deal with zombies quickly and efficiently will always be my downfall. No, well, not one of you. You've gotten this far. <sighs> oh, they've got the giant Voldemort fetus at the top of the steps. Ah, uh -huh. Shipping notice, cargo nemesis, shipping route from uh, CDG. I don't know which one that is. I know JFK is New York to Raccoon City. Shipment date, September 1st, 1998. Shipment type, class one hazardous material. Additional notes, all transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power. So please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer, Dr. Herman Frankel. The same shit is happening in Europe, is what I'm hearing. I think, to my understanding, there's a branch of Umbrella in Europe. They're the ones that made Nemesis, and they shipped it from their branch in Europe to JFK Airport to the final destination of Raccoon City. Damn. Because it was shipped September 1st, 1998, and it's... Uh... What state is Raccoon City canonically in? a beautiful question <laughs> didn't sorry i'll look uh, it up <laughs> i really i went to go answer and then i saw the pale faced thing crawling its way towards me Oh, 
What the? Why do you guys move like that? Dang it. Are there any more of you? Okay, so it's not, it doesn't say what state anywhere, okay. but it does say Raccoon City was a small industrialized lo city located in Arclay County, an isolated mountain county in the Midwestern United States. It was destroyed during the T-Virus outbreak of 1998. The present the area is cordoned off to the rest of the world by a U.S. government facility. Makes sense. Are there any more of you? Because that was too many. You understand? Too many. You're talking to me like it was my fault. I mean, I'm talking to the game. <laughs> well. Hey, but it's more funny if you think I was talking to you. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Not the John Mulaney. Got a John Mulaney at least every once in a while. I think it's happened like almost every video so far. Well, we just love John Mulaney. I mean, we do. <laughs> I was like, it's nothing bad. We just like John Mulaney. Yeah. Who was that? It was in this room. There were stairs. I was supposed to go up those stairs, I feel like. But also don't know. More gunpowder. Do you want to move? You sure don't. I'm sure there's a bunch of people like, why is he wasting so much ammo to check if these zombies are alive or not? And to that I say, hey, did you want to get close to them with the knife to find out if they were alive or not? I didn't think so. These things over here telling me about insufficient power. Do I want to open this? I don't think I do. Insufficient? Like my will to live. Whoa, your will to live is very high. I'm sorry, is that something that you decide? No, but it's what I hope. Uh, hate to break it to you. I know. Man, I split that dude's face like a cantaloupe. Damn. Like thighs to a watermelon. <laughs> Bro, have you heard about the lumberjack dude on um <laughs> on TikTok? No. There's this lumberjack dude. I think this is a way I have to go. So I'll come back to this room. Give me a moment. Um, but there's this dude on TikTok. And his whole thing is that he splits wood, but it's very horny for no reason. Yeah, oh. A guy like that. That's silly. Yeah. But, um, so all he does is split wood. And what his most recent video, at the time of which I was learning about this man from another YouTuber, was him just, he, he has a watermelon. For some ungodly reason, he takes his shoes off right? And then he just mm. gets down on the ground and he crushes this water boat. Absolutely Damn. demolishes it between his thighs. And Damn. I said, there was no reason for this. I was like, you could have just crushed it. Nothing said you had to take your whole shoes off. Why'd you put your feet in the video? Yeah, he really took his shoes off for that. You know, this guy still looks like a human. But that lady, definitely a zombie. I was like, I've seen your kind before, lady. A 
I just thought that I finished a line on this piece, but I didn't because I accidentally turned the thing around and was crocheting on top of the row that I started but didn't finish. So it looked real lopsided for a second. That's so hilarious. Like, what? <laughs> Weapon weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully unprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would no. like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager, Gabriel Reed. They really said, should there be an outbreak? Like, <laughs> we're there. Huh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. You definitely will. Too dark, too dark, me no likey. I hear noises, but I don't know what they are. Damn. Something out there sounds like a skeleton going to town, and I don't like that. First my back hurts, and now my ass hurts. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Shut up. Whoa, Mr. Palehead. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to stand up, boy. I'm much too confident when I kill them quickly. The confidence goes down when they come running at you. Oh, sure does. I do not like how quickly the pale heads move. Did you see how quickly they move? Oh yeah. Who did that? <laughs> Who made that design decision? <laughs> what do I need to make magnum ammo? Because apparently I need more of that. Um, two high grade gunpowders. Yeah. So I have plenty of those. <laughs> Cool. Is this everything I need? Part of me thinks I should drop my knife. Just, like, let it go, you know? You're going to say that, and then you're going to do it, and then you're going to regret it. Yeah, probably. That's how everything I do works. Okay. So, firstly, I'm going to go back up here, grab that little gunpowder, that little gunpowder that could, that was just sitting on the counter, and add it to the 10,000 other gunpowders. And we're going to ignore... That instead of other, I said other. <laughs> it's fine. Wait, incubation slab. Where's that? How do I get there? Anyways. <laughs> Come with me, little gum pauta. Don't do that. I'm sorry. I like the music that's occurring right now. I don't know what's happening in the music, but I just like it. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Uh, put the gunpowder down. Okay. So. I'm going to take the thingy up here. 
See if there's anything I can do yet in the one room. You know, the one room. Yeah, the one, um... Where it was like, you can synthesize the vaccine in here. Oh. And I made my, my COVID joke. All right. Because I want to know if I can put the one part in. YouTube just demonetizes the video. Unauthorized materials detected. Either I've got this wrong or I'm missing a step. Okay. So, can't. I was hoping I could just leave it in there, you know, like for space. Since 75% of my but inventory is just guns. Which isn't even a joke, it's just the truth. Damn. So much of Jill's inventory right now is just guns akimbo. Mm. Which is not a good movie. No offense to Daniel Radcliffe. He had fun while making it, I can tell you that. But it's not a good movie. All right, so now I'll go open this door. Uh, since there's literally nothing else I can do. ungodly yawn for the current situation. I saw stars. <laughs> it took me multiple attempts to understand that joke in my head, and I think that's what made it funnier. I see you. I see that you've I, got I a wasn't line a joke. of hunters. I legitimately saw stars. Oh, I thought you were making like a, you know, because Nemesis could make a sound like that. <laughs> and oh. he chases stars. Oh, ha uh ha -huh, uh -huh. Thanks. Is that Mr. X? That's goofy. So that's those are like fully formed Mr. X's. I don't I don't know how I feel. There's a part of me that says I go back, put this gunpowder down before I get onto that little elevator. Because, you know, fear, but also inventory space. <laughs> the internet calls them pale heads. What do you call them? Huh? Nightmares. What? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I call them nightmares. <laughs> and baby Voldemort fetuses. <laughs> giant. Oh baby yeah, Voldemort giant Voldemort. Fetus. Fetus. Giant, giant baby Voldemort fetus. <laughs> Those things are huge. Come on down for our our Friday night sale. <laughs> Excuse me. Gross. All right. Enough dilly dallying. Let's go through that door. <laughs> or, well, it's not a door, it's like an elevator. We all know what I mean. Or do we? I don't know. I mean, carrying the world's most limited amount of uh, ammo ever made. Oh man. And we've hit the 10 minute mark. <laughs> Damn. Oh, uh, why'd you autosave, game? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, it's going up? Oh, I wasn't expecting to go up. I don't know why so much fear entered my body upon going up than if we were going down. I have a feeling that the game was like, we're going to autosave and then we're going to take you up to strike fear. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on. Out of the way. Is that a pale head too? Bro. Bro. 
During my pride month? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that last shot killed two of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this game's always got me straight buffering. Like my existence buffering. Aw oh, man, they gave me more explosive B, which I guess I would have combined with the other one I grabbed. Which makes me not want to know what I'm about to be greeted with. Ha ha ha. Bro, what's it? Hey, girl, why didn't you just get up with everyone else? Explosive A. Explosive A plus B makes what again? So A and B makes flame rounds. And because I need space, I will just make that into flame rounds. That's fine. Bro, gunpowder. What else is in here? That was a joke. I didn't actually mean that. Oh, I actually need this. <laughs> well, there you go. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. I guess if I hit examine, it would change, wouldn't it? Yep, it would tell me what it is. So this is the antigen. And this... She... I, I didn't mean to hit combine, I meant to hit examine. I'm glad she said out loud it was the antigen sample, but I guess that has to go into the machine first. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established Umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps, in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the Forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, PhD. So it's called the Nemesis. Oh, did you just learn its name, girl? <laughs> I like how they I like how they labeled it. This hubristic problem you have hoisted upon us. Alright, what do you think is gonna be alive when I go back downstairs? I'm gonna have to run through because I only have like five minutes left in the Zoom call. <laughs> ah, there he is. Oh, two of you! Oh! Whoa, what? <laughs> I've never seen that death screen before. <laughs> it got me in my neck. Hunter. Oh! Oh, the betas are the Hunter B, which is what just killed me. Great. They can, they kill me on spot. No cap. Damn, bro. Bro, I have to go do that whole upstairs part again? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That's so funny. Isn't it so funny? 
Not funny. Not funny. <laughs> Go ahead, come out the door, guys. I know you're in there. I don't want to use this on you. I want to use this on Mr. Headcrab and Mr. Pale Butt. Come on, where's your pale brother at? Where's your pale brother at? Ow. Get your tentacle out of my holes. Damn, bro. Come on. Give me your pale brother. <laughs> I don't know why. That final shot's just very funny. Explosive B. So silly goofy. So silly goofy. Uh, and then regular bullets for the lady in the corner. I brought murder. Oh, okay. Murder. Murder. Judy Snow. Examine antigen sample. Reading again. To increase immune system response. So it's called the nemesis. No, okay. really? Alright, well then I guess the question is what's the best weapon for dealing with them? How much time is left? Oh! Uh hey everyone, just in case it cuts out, thank you guys so much for joining for this episode of Resident Evil. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Tell me the games you ever see on the channel. And if you feel so inclined, check out everything else I do at the link down in the description. Uh, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm YouTube sensation Maddie B Raps. <laughs> no. <laughs> and that's Kingsley. Jacob Sartorius. <laughs> that's Jacob Sartorius. If you get to be Maddie B. Raps, <laughs> then I'll be the other internet boy. And we are One Direction. <laughs> we are a uh, four way stop instead of One Direction. Oh, I love four-way stops. <laughs> I know! They're so good. It's like people like truly and genuinely understand how to do four-way stops. Of course they do. Like, oh! Everyone is just so good at them. And that's why we named the...